No such thing as summertime blues in Southern California. Tonight's game brought to you by Shakey's. Game two of a three-game series from Angel Stadium between the Los Angeles Angels and the Houston Astros. And I'll tell you what, his fastball has been great upstairs. He's got a lot more swing and misses of late with his four-seam fastball. His curveball, we talked a lot about that in our opening and down in the pregame show. And then that slider. Give you the lineup for the Astros. Altuve and Alvarez still hurt. So Mauricio Dubon is the leadoff batter and second baseman. The Astros using Yiner Diaz to DH tonight. Bouncer over the mound. Tough play. Neto with the bare hand. Try. Can't pick it up. And Mauricio Dubon has an infield hit once it got over the mound was going to be tough for Neto even if he feels that cleanly. Dubon with a nice size lead not running as Pena flips one towards center field. Easy for Mickey Moniak out there in center. And that's the first out of the ball game. Runner is going kind of a stutter step start throw to second by Thice it is in time to get Dubon. You talk about a perfect throw. Pop time, excellent. Right on the front part of the bag, so the slides going in there for Dubon is going to be able to apply the tag right away for Neto. Soft bouncer off the bat of Tucker. Luis Renipo fields that one and throws it to first to end the inning. It's Reed Detmer is working through the minimum, facing three hitters in a scoreless top of the first. Shohei's the DH batting in the two hole. Taylor Ward hit a homer yesterday, and he's done well in his career against Framber Valdez, the starter for the Astros tonight. And he's got really good stuff. Fastball 92 97, 50% fastball uses, curveball, cutter, and changeup. Swing and a miss by Neto on the changeup from Valdez, and a quick strikeout for the Astro lefty. Shohei strikes out as Framber Valdez has punched out the first two with his changeup. Taylor Ward hits it hard and gets a base hit through the left center field. Extra bases perhaps as Jokes cuts it off, then bobbles it. Ward gets to second easily. And Taylor Ward with a two-out double has a man in scoring position for the Angels. Yeah, you have to take that shot, especially when that baseball goes along. It's this one on the line right to Jose Abreu. So a well-struck ball, but in a bad spot. For Mickey Moniak, the Angels leave Ward at second as we go to the second. Swing and a miss. Jose Abreu strikes out on a Detmer's slider. There's the first strikeout tonight. Jolks hits it hard past Escobar and down the third base line. The Astros have extra bases from Corey Jolks, who's done a nice job for them in a fill-in role this year with Michael Brantley out for most of the season for Jordan Alvarez's injury. Swing and a miss. There was the high fastball, and Detmers climbs the ladder to punch out Yiner Diaz. And gets Eduardo Escobar to swing and miss for strike three. So that's three strikeouts for Valdez. And righty's out more. And he gets Mike Moustakis out in a fastball that touches the inside corner. Ball four, so Hunter Renfro works a walk. First one issued by Valdez tonight. This is his second walk against the Angels this season. Nice slaps one toward left. That's a base hit. Jokes over toward the line to get it. Moving up to second base, Renfro. And Thice with an opposite field approach and a two out single. Back to back two out base runners. A little solid swing there for Matt Thice. It's this ball well toward right center field. Pretty deep. Back toward is Tucker. Back toward McCormick. It's off the wall. Around third coming home is Renfro. Thice is on his way to the plate. The relay throw on the way. It's not in time. Luis Renifo smacks a two-run double off the wall in right center field. And the Angels grab two with two outs in the second off Framber Valdez. And they're, they're checking out to make sure that's not a home run or not. I think that ball was gone. And the way they reacted in the outfield, they were slow to get that relay throw in there. I think that's a home run. Phil Nevin will ask for a replay review, a crew chief review on what could be a home run. How good does Luis Renjifo feel on that swing now? So a three-run homer for Luis Renjifo. Call in the field is overturned. We have a home run. And they certainly do. And the Angels have a 3 nothing lead. That's the best play in baseball, Wayne. Three-run home run. Earl Weaver, the late great Hall of Famer. That's a great feeling for Luis Renjifo. What a swing on that one. That's a great power the other way. Standing O for Renjifo. Zach Neto cuts through that pitch from Valdez, and that's 
A strikeout to end the bottom of the second, but three runs. The leadoff walk here in the third after the Angels took a 3 0 lead. That's the frustrating thing, especially in it. We've talked a lot about that. That's in there, strike three called. Fastball at the bottom of the zone. Detmers has his third strikeout. With the Giants, he lines this ball to left center field and has a base hit. Around second base, McCormick stumbled a bit, draws a throw toward third from Taylor Ward. It's a base hit for Devon. He's two for two. And the Astros trying to cook something up here in the third. Not been used to the last three, four years. Pena with a squibber toward the mound. Detmers backhands, looks to second, but flips it to first. Gets the sure out. Especially this momentum going toward first base. Really no chance to get another out anywhere else. It's a ground ball into right center field, a base hit. It's going to score two runs, McCormick and Dubon. And the Angels unable to get that shutdown inning. Astros come back with two right away. Alex Bregman with a pop-up. Moustakis over near the Astros dugout. And he makes the catch. Good play. play. He almost got that last one. This one, he gets it into the dugout. Well, he had some practice with that one that almost blew back in. This one does. And strikes out Taylor Ward for the second out here in the third. He swings and misses as Valdez cuts him down with a changeup. So, Framber Valdez has struck out seven. He's given up a few runs, and the Angels have the lead. Swings and misses here as Reed Detmers gets his fourth strikeout. This time with a slider, he's fanned Abreu twice. Swing and a miss, strike three. Reed Detmers back to back strikeouts to start the fourth. Why I love he went with four seam fastball there at 95. Detmers loses him, try to go back to that slider that he struck out Abreu with. And and there's ball four. Detmers with the curveball and missing badly again. So the last two batters has gone to three and two and then missed badly for ball four. And that ball is ripped. It is fair down the left field line. It will at least tie the game as Diaz scores. It's Ward coming up with it to try to get it in. But all the way around to come home is McCormick. And the Astros take advantage of back-to-back -back two out walks. The former angel Martin Maldonado gives Houston a 4-3 lead. There's a high fly ball off the bat of Dubon that Taylor Ward gets under. And that ends the inning. But two two round walks. Then a two run double by Maldonado. The Astros have the lead. Well, as Eduardo Escobar, it's a chopper past Bregman in the left field. Escobar is on to begin the bottom of the fourth. Herman, strikeout cancer, and then save that baseball. That's yes. a pretty good one. Yeah. Stock is tied up as he strikes out, and that's another strikeout for Framber Valdez. He has fanned eight tonight. It's this one well to the gap in right center field. This one's headed for the wall. Extra bases for Infro. Escobar's on his way to third. He's being waved home by Bill Hasselman. Relay throws on the way to the plate. It's high, and Escobar is still out at home. I think they might check that. He didn't have much of a shot to get there. The throw took it high, but he had the whole entire plate blocked. Now, Escobar looked like he might have stumbled as he rounded third base as McCormick got it in. And a high throw. High strikes out. It's that changeup again that's been the culprit. Nine strikeouts for Framber Valdez. He just barely holds on to the lead. Big series win in Texas. Pena hits ground ball to short. Zach Neto gobbles that up. And swings it to Mustakas for the out. Need for a local flavor. Alex Bregman with a bouncing ball to Zach Neto. Quick inning. Yeah, very quick. One, two, three for Reed Detmers in the top of the fifth. He swings and misses again for strike three. So Valdez has fanned Neto three times. Swing and a miss. Valdez has struck out 11. He's gotten Shohei twice. Line drive, it is caught by a leaping Zach Neto, a back footed leap on a soft liner from Abreu. Jolks with a fly ball hit to right center as Renfro waves for it and catches it for the second out. Well, we say goodbye baseball. 93rd pitch. And that's in there, strike three call. Strikeout number six for Reed Detmers, back to back, one, two, three innings. Four of those have now come against the Angels, two this year. Taylor Ward the other way, a base hit. 
And McCormick able to grab it in the gap in right center. Holds Ward to a leadoff single. Oniak lips one to left. That's a base hit. Well, he really stayed with that pitch and served it in the left field. Just his second career hit against a lefty. And Escobar strikes out. That is the 12th strikeout for Framber Valdez. And Rostakis strikes out. That is 13 for Valdez tying his career high. Renfro with a ground ball. It's Peno has it. And that ends the inning. Framber Valdez escapes treble in the sixth. He has racked up 13 strikeouts and has a one run lead. And those walks come back to bite him on an otherwise decent performance from Denver's. And now Chris Davinsky will try to keep it a one run game. They yeah, had really good stuff. I think when you look back at that for Reed Denver, you know, we don't want that one. Ground ball. Renifo dives and knocks it in the left center field. This time he hustles after it, which keeps McCormick at first base. We talked about the learning lesson, the redemption. Well, they're going and a line drive base hit the other way. For Martin Maldonado sticks McCormick at third. The Astros playing winning baseball on a hit and run. Put runners on the corners with nobody out. And he has a ground ball base hit into right field. McCormick scores. Maldonado will go all the way to third. And the Astros first and thirding. A couple of base runners back to back scoring one. And taking a 5-3 lead as Devon gets his third hit tonight. A team that makes contact. Puts the ball in play. Three singles. It's a strikeout of Pena and a big first out here in the seventh. Big because now with his changeup, he may be able to get Kyle Tucker out in front. That ball is drilled by Kyle Tucker to left center field. Moniak back at the wall, sizing it up, and he makes the catch up against the wall in left center field. Another extra base hit robbing catch by Moniak as Maldonado scores on a sacrifice fly. Well, he timed that perfectly, too. We're at the top of it, but a real nice play by Monia. He's already robbed a couple home runs. Now he's coming in for this one, and he tries to knock it down as Bregman gets a base hit. Dubon advances to third. Brayu hits this one well toward left center field. Boniak another good jump, racing for it, leaping up. And it is a home run for Jose Abreu. A three-run shot with two outs here in the seventh. It's the eighth homer this year for Abreu. And the Astros have blown it open. It is nine to three. And the Irvine native Zach Weiss takes over on the mound. Yeah, his fastball low to mid-90s, but very good spin rate on his curveball. Ground ball to Eduardo Escobar. And the top of the seventh comes to an end. But a five-run inning as the Astros well in front. And there's ball four. So a leadoff walk. Valdez has walked two. Heiss has been on base twice. Bouncer over the mound. Coming in for it is Dubon. Tries to tag the runner. And he can't get anybody, but they're going to call Heiss out for running out of the baseline, baseline between yeah. first and second. Zach Neto drills one to left field. This is way back. Jokes is at the wall and it's gone. Zach Neto has homered off Framber Valdez for the second time this year. And the Angels get a little closer. It's 9-5. 106 off the bat. Zach Neto, welcome back from the I.L. on that swing. Long way out. Left center. Ryan Stanek takes over for Houston. His fastball is another firm one out of the bullpen. 96 to 100. Slider, splitter. Those are a lot of splitters. Swing and a miss. So Tani strikes out for the third time tonight. And there's two away. And that's low. Ball four. Good at bat for Ward as he works a two out walk. Line drive to center field. And a base hit for Moniak. So back to back base runners with two outs. Moniak has his second hit. Eduardo Escobar is due up now. He lines it toward right center field. That's a base hit. Ward around third. He's on his way to the plate. He'll score. And the Angels have put up three runs here in the seventh. They've made it nine to six. And the tying run will come to the plate. They've made it nine to six. And now Brian Abreu enters with the tying run at the plate. 
Moustakas has that power with one swing of the bat. You're tied right up. Moustakas drives one. It's deep to right. Back for it is Tucker at the wall. The game is tied. The game is tied. Mike Moustakas has knocked out a three-run homer. And it's 9-9. Nine to nine. Swings and misses to end the inning, but the Angels come through with a six spot. They tie it up. Matt Moore comes off the injured list, his first appearance in almost two months, and it's in a huge spot. A tie game here in the top of the eighth. Now Leonard Diaz has a base hit. A change up from Matt Moore, and Diaz scoops it in the left center field. So the leadoff man on for Houston. Cormick with a fly ball hit well to right field. Renfro is back near the wall. He leaps and it's gone. Chaz McCormick has hit a two-run homer the other way. And the Astros come right back right away. They put up two here in the eighth to make it 11 to 9. ball to Renhifo. That's the first out of the inning following the go ahead homer by McCormick. Line drive to right center. Modiak got a good jump. Racing for it. Makes the catch. Been busy out in center field today. And one just ran away from Renhifo as it goes into right center field for a base hit. Pena thought about second as Renfro. Fires it back in. Pena goes back to first after his two out single. There have been plenty of home runs in this game, plenty of firepower to make this one 11 to 9. And now Tucker Davidson faces Kyle Tucker, who's got a three RBI night himself. Tried to hold his swing, but he could not. Strike three. Tucker Davidson gets a big strikeout. Kyle Tucker fans to win the top of the eighth as the Astros reclaim the lead. He's throwing the ball real well. This is his 42nd game he pitched last night. Fastballs, pretty firm fastball with some sink action to it. 93, 98 slider and splitter. A lot of splitters. This is on 2 0. It's a dribbler back toward the mound. Nellis fields his position and gets the out. Swing and a miss. ball to center field so Tani will lead off the bottom of the ninth as the Angels go down in order here in the eighth. But the first Mustaka stumbled on top of the ball and takes it to the bag to beat Bregman. Slow bouncer Escobar fields it throws it wide into the dugout. Now Abreu will march all the way to second base. Tucker Davidson trying to keep this game where it is. A liner to center. Mickey Moniak has to back up a bit to make the catch. If the Angels can put together, see if it's still a two-run game. As Diaz rolls it in the left center field, and that's a base hit to make it 12-9. As Taylor Ward didn't throw it toward the plate, probably wouldn't have had a shot at Abreu anyway, but... McCormick hits it hard, and Escobar keeps it in front of him. And able to scoop that ball cleanly. We'll see if that's ruled another hit. Either way, McCormick's on base for the fifth time in this game. And should end the inning. A pop up from Maldonado. Zach Neto calling forward on the outfield. Grass retires the side. A big insurance run, and the Astros lead 12 9, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Fight you're all the way through against a very, very good pitcher down, Ryan Presley. His fastball with some movement to it. 92 97, curveball slider changeup. A lot of secondary pitches you'll see from Presley here. And there's a high fly ball, left center field. McCormick sizing it up. He's at the wall. And it's gone! Shohei Otani! He delivers home run number 33. 
The Major League leader in round trippers sends one out to make it 12 to 10. That's going 404 feet for Shohei. Shohei had struck out three times, homer today. Zach Neto struck out three times, and homer today. Mike Moustakis struck out three times and homer just like that. Need another base runner, bring that tying run to the dish. Shohei Otani. Ground ball left side, off the glove of Pena. A base hit for Ward, his third tonight. And the tying run will come to the plate. It's Mickey Modia. Couple home runs. He hits this one hard, up the middle, base hit. In the center field, Ward will stop at second base. Has to hurry back as McCormick throws behind him. It's another hit for Moniak. It's three straight hits to start the bottom of the ninth. The tying runs are on base. And now here's Escobar representing the winning run. And a curveball's lined up the middle, a base hit. Ward got a late start off second. He had to make sure the ball went through. He stops at third, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. The Angels down by two, and it's Mike Moustakis coming to the plate. What a rocket back up the middle. The stage is set for Moose here. Up and in, it's off the glove of Maldonado. Here come the runners. Ward scores. It's 12-11, and the tying run goes to third. The winning run to second. Moustakis. That's a bouncing ball to second, fielded by Dubon. He gets the easy out at first, and there's one away. And he lines one towards center field, coming in as McCormick. Hits a base hit. Here comes Velasquez to the plate. The game is tied. It's 12 to 12, and Hunter Renfro makes it even. And Thice strikes out. Two away. As Coppins hits one in the air to center, McCormick backs up for it. He is there, and he makes the catch just before the warning track to end the inning. The Angels tie it. Shohei Otani hits the blast to start the rally. His 33rd homer made it a two-run game. And then the Angels with four hits from there. Hunter Renfro, the game-tying single. It's 12-12 as we go to the 10. We'll enter the all-star closer. Carlos Estevez will try to keep this game even here in the top of the 10. And a fly ball toward the right field line. Renfro with a very good arm. Over toward foul territory. Reaches out, makes the catch. Now Myers tagging going toward third, and he'll make it there. As Renfro had to contend with the sidewall to make that play in foul territory. He does get the out, and there's one away. Swing and a miss, strike three. It was the high heater, and Estevez gets a huge strikeout, retiring Pena. Two. Now an interesting decision here as Kyle Tucker has been issued an intentional walk. Tucker is a tremendous hitter, but so is Alex Bregman. And pops it up. On the infield, Velasquez is calling for it. He makes the catch. Carlos Estevez, an all-star. Eitan worked two-thirds of an inning yesterday. The Astros are going to have to get creative here with their batting order as Jeremy Pena has come out of the game. Neto hits it in the air, right field. Moving over for it is Tucker. Cabbage tagging at second. Tucker has a great arm, and Cabbage will stay put. Come on, live a little. Pitch to show him. Yeah, yeah. Live on the edge. <laughs> I have to have some guts. <laughs> Ground ball to second. Fielded by Dubon. Gets it to Kessinger. He throws it away. Here comes the winning run. Cabbage scores. Say goodnight to the Astros. The Angels win.